This is a video of the Back Nine at Rutland Golf Club in North Wales. Every shot explained, and the aim of the day is to try and break 90. So we're 9 over par after the front nine. Not too bad, all things considered. Hole 10 is a long par 4, normally a 3 shotter for me. Good drive of the day. And we're in play with a tee shot over 200 yards in the left hand rough. It's 212, I'm too far back, there's uh, water on the right, and bunkers and things. Just a layup, two pitching wedges to get to the green. So, not going for a hero shot here, just ha trying to get it on the green in three. Just very smooth on this. So we have around 90 yards from the fairway approach from a level lie. A little bit right, but it's rolled on the green, I think. A 20 footer from the green fringe. We have the par putt that we wanted from the green fringe. Just misses to the right, finishes behind the hole. A good putt, read that one really well. And we tap in for a bogey, which is still a respectable score of this long par four. Hole 11 is stroke index one, hardest hole on the course. A long par four dog leg to the right. Tough start to this back nine here at Rutland. We catch this tee shot slightly thin, but it hits the fairway, goes bounding forwards, first fairway hit of the day, over 200 yards, a good result. It's 2 on 9, blocked out, it's too far away anyway, hitting 2 irons, but it's green, this is a 9 iron. This long par 4 is a 3 shotter, all day for me, I learnt my lesson the hard way on this hole, <laughs> if you've seen previous videos. Made a snowman once on this hole. Uh, it's a hundred. In the pitching wedge, middle of the green. So just a smooth one here, trying to land this ball at the front of the green, let it roll to the pin. <laughs> you lipped out. The approach shot has hit right on line. I thought it lipped out at the time, not 100% sure what happened, but a really good result anyway. It's a 12 footer, downhill slightly. So it's a downhill putt, have to be more defensive with this one, just trickle it down there and hopefully it drops. And the putt misses to the left. I could have raced that putt by 6 foot easily there. We have a three footer now, uphill putt, which is much more easy. It goes in, Ricardo Bogey on stroke in this one hole. Very good start to the back nine for me. Same 140 to a white flag. Smooth seven iron. Don't even have to hit this one. Hole 12, the first of the par threes on the back nine. Playing a little bit shorter on the GPS yardage. Yeah, that's safe putting for birdie. <laughs> it's a bit, bit too safe. Long putt for birdie this one. I got the numbers right for the distance. It's a green in regulation. There's the old pheasant there. Nice to stroll down to the green with a putter in the hand. Uh, it's a 30 foot at this. So we have the outside birdie chance, a 30 footer. Right to left. Pace is very important from this distance. I think the putt misses on the low side, didn't play enough break. So we have a three footer uphill. But we tap in for the easy par on hole 12 and move on. So the next three holes are three par fives in a row. That's the way they have it at Rutland. Not many courses like this. 
Hole 13 is the par 5, 500 yards up the hill. We're trying to hit a smooth one, middle of the fairway for around 200 yards. We go around 220, really happy with that. 281, gonna hit the 22 degree, um, lay up, flush this one, and get a short time into the green. So there's my swing thought for you on that shot. Flush this one, very simple, and very unsighted with the sun on this one. Let's see where that went. Flushed it though. It's 106 uphill to a white flag. But I'm in the rough, so I think I'm going to get a flyer. I'm going to hit the pitching wedge right at it. Hopefully, get a putt for birdie. So, a white flag means the hole is at the back of the green, hitting up the hill. Yeah, it's on the green. I think it's just the front edge. So I thought it was front edge, but because the ball came from the rough, there was less spin and the ball rolled out to just beyond pin high. And we have a downhill patch now, 15 footer for a birdie. So these greens were running fast in these dry conditions. Gonna have to trickle this one down and hopefully make it. And goals of any old game, it had the line, it just Forgot to hit it. Nevertheless, we tap in for the second easy par in a row. Good scoring. So hole 14 is the par 5. Downhill, looking for a nice 200 yard drive down the middle of the fairway. And that's not what happens. It's a total miss hit. Straight left into the trees. Second shot here next to this tree is actually playable. Got a lucky break there. Drive actually went nowhere, just 75 yards, so just a punch back into the fairway, back into play. And that's what happens. It's actually better than playing three off the tee, hitting that shot there. Third shot is a layup with a hybrid. Have a good lie here. Just going to get it down there. But unfortunately, I turned this one over more than normal. It goes left towards a uh, water hazard actually, that's why I was grimacing. But luckily again it's still in play in the left hand rough. It's 163 downhill slightly, just going to smash the 6 iron. It's not a good lie actually. I'm going to smash the 6 iron, hopefully get it on. Get a putt for par. So it's approach to the green, 165 yards ish. It's hit long from the rough. Oh, it's flown the green. And the dry conditions were causing havoc with my distances on this day. So there's no par putt for me coming up. Instead of a tricky chip on to a really baked green. And we chip it onto the green surface, it rolls right through to the other side, and have a 22 footer coming back for a bogey. Not close. And we tap in for the double bogey on hole 14. Hole 15 is the last of the par fives at Rutherland playing uphill into the sun. Looking for around a 200 yard safe drive in the fairway. Instead the tee shot is hooked out to the left but it's still in play. It's 256, it's actually not too bad. I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna hit the A time back to the fairway. So, for this second shot, it's a case of if you hit a bad shot, make sure it's really bad. And got a lucky break, you can hit an iron back into the fairway. A time, that's what happens. It's 104 to a red flag uphill slightly. The front edge is 88, hitting the smooth. Wedge. So we're back in prime position here with a pitching wedge hitting it uphill slightly. Yeah, and we're on in three, another green in regulation. A little bit thin, but got away with it. 
So the approach was hit slightly thin and rolled out to the back of the crane. So it's a long one, a 48 foot lag putt for a birdie. Which is hit really well, had the pace of the greens at this point. Thought it, that one was going to drop. So tap in for the easy par, move on. So we played those three par fives in a row at two over, which is good for me, all things considered. Let's see if we can keep it going and break 90. Hole 16, so par four dog leg to the left, and we accidentally take the tiger line and crush this drive over the trees. See how happy with that one, end up in the left hand rough. It's 158 from the left rough. Hitting the seven iron, everything's going further. Get it on. Got a red flag. So we have a good chance to hit the green in regulation, clubbing down for this approach. So this 7 iron is hit slightly heavy, losing distance. It says 48, but the front edge is 35, and that's the flag's at the front, so just a little flip. In these dry conditions, it's really important to know the front edge yardage. And we've got the numbers right with this one. Yeah, really good. Oh, it's a six footer. So we have the pop out that we wanted. It's a six footer, happy with that. Let's see if we can make this one. Just bobbles off course at the last second, not sure if it's going to catch the left side of the cup. So you tap in for the bogey that doesn't hit the scorecard. It would have been nice to make the par there though, I won't lie. Hole 17 is the last of the par 4s. Blades uphill, it's normally a 3 shotter for me. We hit a smooth one with the driver. Goes around 200 yards, finds the right hand ref. Yeah, it's 205, uh, blocked out, the ball sitting down, so just laying up with the 9 iron. Just hitting over the corner of the dog lag here. Do not want to catch this one thin and hit the trees. Yeah, that's fine. And we're in the left hand ref. Uh, it's 74, just hitting the sandwich. Just to try and get it to stop on the green. So this approach to the green slightly uphill into the sun. Protecting against the flyer using the sandwich. <laughs> Nearly went in I think. It's hit right on line. Got the numbers right with that one again. And have another par putt coming up. It's an 8 footer uphill putt, can be quite aggressive with this one as if it goes past the hole it should stop really quick. It just breaks off to the left, bit of a mystery there I think actually. And we tap in for the bogey on hole 17. Just strolling up to the 18th tee box here and we're 15 over, we've basically done it, we've broken 90 already. Gonna play the last hole conservatively. Hole 18 at Rutherland's a medium length par 3, playing back to the pro shop and clubhouse area. It's 152. I'm hitting 7 iron, just gonna turn one over. Get on the green. So I'm hitting 7 iron here as a short miss is okay for me, but I don't want to miss pin high left or right as there's bunker trouble. I think that's Mr. Green left, uh, right I think. Close though. So we ended up missing the green just slightly short right and we're minimizing the damage. The worst I can do from here is a bogey. Not short sided or anything here, just chipping one on. It goes okay, and we have yet another downhill putt coming up. It's the day of downhill putts on this day with these dry greens. And we trickle one down again. The par putt just misses to the right. 
leaving an uphill putt coming back. And we tap in for bogey with no drama on hole 18. So the final score of the day was 88, 16 over. So I've done it. I've broken 90 at Ruslan for the first time. The last two scores there were both exactly 90. So I'm really happy with the day in general. The back nine score was seven over, which is detailed in this video. And it's a tough back nine with the two long par fours. Then you have the three par fives in a row. And overall, I kept the ball in play pretty well. I was very weak off the tee on this day, all day long. So I left a few shots on the course. And for the putting, even though I didn't hold anything over five foot all day long, there was no three putts, so that helped the scoring a lot. So it's onwards and upwards. I hope the next time I play Rudler I can break 85, or at least a better 88. I'm looking forward to playing there again. It's a really good course. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed playing and making it. And see you on the next one. Signing off.